Hi, this is Maglin. I'm going to cover a few things about how to install uh, your, your Octopi, your Clipper, uh, Octoprint uh, for the Voron 2 into uh, your Raspberry Pi 3. Um, I'm going to make this a uh, several part series so that way um, as things update in the future it'll be easier for me to update this those specific parts and it'll make it easier for everyone to just find exactly what they're looking for um, or whatever you're having trouble with installing or configuring um, I plan for this guide to cover tuning uh, how to set up your limits how to set up your X and Y and Z uh, how to set your offsets um, everything basically from start to finish uh, if you guys have any uh, recommendations after you guys have watched my videos, uh, please let me know. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete anything that's on our current SD card. Now remember, the speed of your SD card is going to uh, affect um, how fast files can transfer to it. Uh, that includes when you're pushing files over to the SD card. Uh, via your slicer or your dragging and dropping files, whatever. Um, but the speed of your SD card makes a big difference. So uh, what I use is a class 10, I believe it's a U2, 32 gigabyte card from Samsung. Um, you're going to want to make sure it's also a uh, quality card. I think mine are all $6 for them. Um, SanDisk, Samsung, um, they're all, they're both uh, very known reputable uh, card manufacturers. So with that, we're going to go ahead and remove any previous uh, partitions that we have on there. Uh, this has Octo, uh, Octopi on it already, and I'm just going to go ahead. I opened up Computer Management, uh, went to Disk Management. I looked for my removable uh, my SD card. I have a 32 gig SD card here. Um, I'm going to go to the partitions we don't want. We basically want all the partitions wiped out. We want this thing clean. So it's just a simple right click delete volume yes I want to, I want to remove everything and now I have a wiped out SD card now we can go to SD card formatter this is this is not necessarily a, a, a something that we have to do it's just something that I prefer to do um, go to quick format and uh, yeah just click on format it's gonna go ahead and say you're gonna remove wipe all uh, information on the drive hit OK um, again, uh, that's not necessarily required, but uh, sometimes you might have a couple bad sectors if you have an older SD card, and the SD formatter will actually uh, find those bad sectors and take them out of the partition table, um, something that the RM Prep USB won't do. Um, that's what we're going to use next. This is, what, this is the tool we're going to use to put uh, OctoPi onto your SD card. So, um, open up RM Prep. USB. Uh, almost doesn't matter what version you have, but uh, just use the link provided. Uh, we're going to leave all these options as default. If you don't see your SD card up here, go ahead and hit refresh. Um, it should show. Select your SD card if you got multiples of them. Uh, you're going to go to File Drive, and then you're going to go to wherever you have downloaded Octopi. Uh, as of this recording, 15.1 is the newest Octopi release. Go ahead and open that. And now we got a few options here. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and hit OK to all of these. And OK. And now it's going to go ahead and install Octopi uh, and repartition our SD card. Uh, depending on how fast your SD card is, this could take uh, several minutes. Um, this being a fairly fast SD card, uh, it only takes about two. All right. Once RM Prep is finished, a whole bunch of windows will pop up. Uh, basically, it's gonna it's gonna minimize everything, and while it's installing, um, just show the command line interface uh, of its progress. Uh, once it's done, we just exit out of that, and now we have one last thing to do before we can go ahead and install this into our uh, Raspberry Pi, and that is to actually put our wireless information on there. If you guys are hooking up via uh, actual Ethernet and uh, with RJ45 with the cable then uh, you don't necessarily need this uh, but majority majority of us will be will be actually using the Wi-Fi on this 
Um, you're going to want to go to the boot drive that has now been installed on the SD card. And then you want to go to Octopi WPA Supplicant Text. Open that. I always go to the bottom and I do this part first. Uh, uncomment your country. This is for the, time, uh, the network time protocol. And then uh, whichever, whichever uh, Wi-Fi you're using, uh, if it's open, uh, completely unsecured, uh, you put your stuff here. If you're using just WEP, I recommend that you get a new router uh, if that's all it, it uh, has for security because that's crackable in about 15 seconds these days. Um, or uh, use WPA2 uh, secured. Uncomment this. Uh, a lot of people miss that part. You're going to want to put your SSID inside these uh, quotations. And then your password, your paraphrase, will go here. Simple as that. You go ahead and hit the, the save icon up top. And we are ready to put this into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, go on to the next video uh, and we'll take it from there.